Hi guys. Uh, <clears throat> just want to talk to you about uh, last night's night shift. I went in. Normally I go in early. I don't start till seven. But I go in. Uh, I go in about five o'clock, and then I chat with the guys that are on the shift before me. Then I go over and I. Some of you know the wife's in the hospital. She's been in there since uh, since August. And uh, so anyway, I chat to the guys, catch up on what's going on at work, and then I go over and I take the wife for coffee and that. Normally I take her coffee about 5.30 after supper. And <clears throat> but uh, last night I went in and as I was chatting to the guys, I was just about to leave to go get the wife for coffee. And uh, I heard a code, code blue. <clears throat> and working at the hospital, code blue is means someone's in a medical situation, whether it's a heart attack or whatever. And I didn't catch it at first, but the second time they announced it, I realized it was the wife's room. So I uh, I went running over to the wife's room. And, of course, there's a large medical team there looking after her and, and stuff. So, you know, they're, they're on the ball. They're, they're doing their job. But uh, it was very shocking. It was very sad. It's a horrible way to start work. So anyway, they shipped her. They, her problem was uh, she wasn't breathing. She was turning kind of blue. From what I heard from one patient, I didn't get to see her right away because I didn't want to get in the, the way of the medical team because the room was full of people. But they moved her. Uh, she did all right. They moved her up to CCU. They got her conscious again. and. So up in CCU, I was holding her hand and talking with her while they're, you know, they're sticking in their needles for the IVs and they're doing their blood tests and they had to withdraw some blood for that. They give her an ECG, they give her a CAT scan, I believe. They give her an X-ray to make sure she, there was nothing in her throat that she was choking on. All them kind of things. So it was a pretty scary way to start the shift and... Uh, no, I didn't feel like being there all night long. I kept going up and, you know, not waking her up, but checking on her status. And a couple times I went up, she was still awake. And I visited her, but a couple times I went up, she was sleeping. So I just checked on her status, and keeping an eye on things. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to Tom. Uh... Thank you, Tom, for uh, a good chat on Facebook. It, uh, it was nice to chat and uh, get some feelings out. And uh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. This is uh, very sad. As I was telling Tom there uh, last night, it was raining. And uh, as I was talking to him, I, I was thinking of the rain and and this little thought just goes in my head that, you know, God, God was crying, and that brought me back to tears again. Yeah. Anyway, she she's doing better today. Uh, the whole point of this video, guys, is uh, people you love, let them know you love them, because uh, you never know. Take care, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.